Traditional Chinese medicine is one of the most complicated facets of complementary medicine and one of the most common questions we get at Bright Almond. It took me years in school to start to understand what traditional Chinese medicine was and how it related to some of our Western paradigms when it comes to thinking about health. Today we thought rather than listening to me talk about Chinese medicine, we would take you to the experts. We are in downtown Toronto at a clinic called Acu Toronto with traditional Chinese medicine practitioners Jasmine Sufi and Elise Yang, and we're going to have them do an assessment and treatment on me. This is Bright Almond TV. I'm Dr. Megan Walker, and welcome to our show. Uh, the first time a patient comes into our clinic, uh, what usually happens is that we take a full health history. Um, so the patient will outline their, their main concern uh, and we try and dissect any other uh, signs and symptoms that are present at the same time because Chinese medicine is holistic. Right. So we're taking a look at the whole body as a whole as opposed to just one symptom at a time. So okay. uh, we're trying to address the whole health and get the person healthier overall. Right. And how long is a typical appointment? Uh, about The first appointment's about an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, the initial consultation can take about a half an hour to 45 minutes, depending on how complicated it could be. Okay. And yep. then you're going to take my tongue and pulse, which is I do. something everyone has questions about yeah. when I'm doing this in my office. I do, yeah. Right. So tongue and pulse is taken, usually for me anyways, at the end of all the signs and symptoms. Um, and it's just more um, a diagnostic tool to, to figure out what your constitution is, what your body type is right. according to Chinese medicine and so we're able to break everything down in terms of yin and yang. Uh, okay. Yin representing cold, yang representing heat and so that's that's the terminology we usually use. Okay, yeah. all right, I'm all yours. All right, so I'm gonna have you stick out your tongue. So this is the most um, the most interesting because patients can see it themselves as well and I usually teach patients as to how to look at their tongue as well. Looking at the tongue shape, how big is it, how small is it, looking at the color of the tongue as well and you're showing a little bit of pit on the sides of the tongue, a little bit of redness on the tips of the tongue, um, the coat of the tongue as well. You can stick it back in for a second because it's probably getting tired <laughs> and stick it back out for me. And also we're seeing a little crack down the center as well, which represents a consumption of yin or possibly a past history of heat. Um, and I'm throwing a lot of terminology at uh -huh. you, but um, thank you very much. But basically we're looking at the shape, the coat, the color, um, right. and all of that represents whether you're deviating towards a yin constitution, a colder constitution, or deviating towards a yang constitution. Okay. What also is represented in the tongue is a map of the entire body. So depending on what shows up on each section of the tongue, we're able to diagnose whether there's a deficiency or a, or a, a malfunction with one particular meridian type. Okay, and if I had coffee this morning, yep. can you tell? Does that change things? It or does. Is my yeah. tongue still useful for you? <laughs> it's actually not bad right now. So usually it'll 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 coat it. It'll okay. coat it a yellow color. So if you okay. show up with after eating blueberries, for example, it'll show right. up completely purple. Right. Um, and that's that's when I ask you, okay, what did you have just before seeing me? And so I'm able to actually dissect that out of the diagnosis. As well. And is there anything important about the bottom of the tongue? Yeah, actually there is. Yeah. So if you flip it around, what you'll see is two veins, and yours is pretty good. So it, there's a slight purple purple um, vessel. There's two vessels down there and there's, yeah. uh, there's light purple colors to it. We're looking at how large it is. Uh, we're also looking at how purple it is. So the okay. more purple it is, the more larger it is, the more stressed you are. Um, I'm not stressed at no. all. No. <laughs> no, it's not bad though. It's actually pretty good. So Perfect. that's one of the diagnostics underneath the tongue as well. Okay, yeah. great. And